There once was a pillow. In fact, there were many pillows, who were all trapped in a small storage box in the back of a mattress store. From within that box, one could hear some of the pillows proclaiming, Stop pushing me! At that I can't breathe! But finally, two would be chosen. Two of the pillows would feel the freedom. As the box is opened, one of the pillows screams, Ah, the light! It burns! A large hand reaches into the box and grabs two of the pillows with black cases. Finally, I am free! proclaims a pillow named Paxton. You and me both, exclaims another pillow named The pillows Payton. were purchased by two boys who seem to be quite energetic. Paxton and Peyton are taken to a peculiar home on the end of town. Upon arriving their destination, Paxton and Peyton notice that the boys are very strange. They seem to be overjoyed that they have just purchased pillows. I'm afraid of these kids says Paxton. They are a rather lively group of children, utters Peyton. Peyton and Paxton are dragged into the house by the young boys and taken into their room. They look in disbelief at the toys thrown over the floor, the messy bed, and everything. The room is a disaster. One of the boys picks up Paxton and hits the other boy. Ouch! cries Paxton. The other boy picks up Peyton and smacks his brother. Put me down this instant, proclaims Peyton. The two boys begin jumping on the bed and smacking each other with screams and laughter. This is insane, screams Peyton. We've got to get out of here. All of a sudden, there is a loud ripping sound. Paxton looks over at Peyton and discovers that the untamed children have ripped a hole in him. Peyton passes out from the excruciating pain. The boys run out of the room to get a roll of tape. Paxton quickly drags Peyton underneath the bed to hide from the wild kids. We're going to get through this, buddy, says Paxton in disbelief. The boys run back into the room and eventually find Paxton and Peyton underneath the bed. They apply duct tape to Peyton and continue to beat each other with the pillows. Then, from the other room, their mother calls them, and the children leave the room. Boys! Peyton wakes up and sees the bandages on his side. We're busting out of here, pronounces Paxton. If it's the last thing we do, replies Peyton. That night, the children lay their heavy heads on their pillows. Paxton and Peyton slowly crawl out from underneath. They escape and head for the cardboard box in which they came in. Paxton takes a red pen and writes the address of the store they came from on the box. Peyton and Paxton work together to get the box out the door and into the mailbox. Our plan is working so far, proclaims Peyton. We're almost there, Paxton sighs in relief. They stay in the mailbox overnight and the mailman arrives the next day. He takes the box and continues his route. Success, declares Peyton. We've done it. Praise the Lord, rejoices Paxton. The next day, Paxton and Peyton arrive in the same familiar store in which their journey began. They are placed in the same box with all the other pillows they remember. Home sweet home, Peyton states. And a sweet home it is, Paxton answers.